Hello everyone, my name is Ian Lamont. I'm the author of Dropbox in 30 Minutes. And today I'm going to be showing you some uh, tricks with Dropbox on the, on the iOS platform. So I'm talking about the Dropbox app on an iPhone or iPod Touch. And basically, how, how do you delete files? And when you look at the new Dropbox app interface, it's not really apparent how you do stuff because they don't put labels on anything. But here's how it works. So this is my top-level Dropbox view. I have some folders here and some files, and I want to get rid of these files. And this is how you do it. In the upper right corner, you'll see a checkbox, uh, uh, sorry, a check mark in a circle. Tap that. And what happens is uh, these little buttons appear next to each file and folder, and you can put the check mark in it. So I want to get rid of this PDF right here. I check it, and then I hit delete. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Get rid of it. It's gone. You can also do that with folders or with multiple files at once. So let's say I want to delete uh, these two bottom screenshots. No problem. And this uh, EPUB file here. No problem. Just hit the check mark again. And then I would select these two bottom screenshots plus this EPUB here and hit the delete. It even says there's three files lined up. It asks you, are you sure? Yes, I'm sure and they're gone. So that's an easy way to manage storage on your Dropbox account while you're on the move, either if you have an iPhone or if you have an iPod Touch that's connected over Wi-Fi. One thing to keep in mind, if you are using an iPhone and you're using a carrier signal like a 3G or 4G, just be careful of the limits you may have on your account or the speed of the carrier connection because if it's a slow carrier connection, it's really hard to use uh, Dropbox in a quick manner to open and manipulate files. For more information, check out my book, Dropbox in 30 Minutes. You can get information and more videos at in30minutes.com, and I hope to see you there soon. Thank you.